if after performing a nozzle check, we don't get what we're looking for, which would be nice solid lines, as indicated in this example here, we need to perform a head cleaning. The most common way to perform a head cleaning is to go to the control panel and hold the menu button for three seconds and the machine will perform a head cleaning. Now why do we perform these head cleanings? We perform these head cleanings to make the printhead actually fire ink. By doing so, that is going to force ink through the printhead, forcing out any air, clogs, or unwanted particles that may be blocking our nozzles. Every third time we go to do a head cleaning, it's going to come up as a power cleaning, which is indicated here. We don't want to do a power cleaning unless we have no other option and we've exhausted the first two methods, which would be to hold the menu button for three seconds or putting a cleaner up against the print head. So in this case, we don't wish to perform a power cleaning, so we're going to bypass it by simply saying no, which is the select button. The machine will immediately go into a normal head cleaning. Upon completing two or three head cleaning cycles, we would let the machine rest for about 10 minutes where we don't do anything with it. That'll give the ink a little time to settle. And then we would do another nozzle check. We want to take a look at that nozzle check to ensure we have no breaks in the lines. If doing a regular head cleaning is insufficient and we don't seem to be getting anywhere, by comparing our nozzle checks and they don't seem to be improving, we need to go with a more aggressive method of cleaning the printhead. So the next method of cleaning the printhead, we need the supplies that you see in front of you. You need some kind of a soft cloth, a paper towel will work, or a rag, or a non-treated facial wipe for removing makeup. You need your cleaning solution, and a mirror makes this job much easier. We're going to use the mirror so that we can look into it and see the print head. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a paper towel or the facial wipe. And we're going to saturate this with our cleaning solution. We really want this nice and wet. Now, I'm going to take the mirror and I'm going to put it on the bed in the center of the belt underneath where the print head will be. Now, we release the print head and slide it out over the mirror and we're going to use that mirror to look into to see the print head. It's a lot easier to do that than it is to try and bend down and look underneath the cover to visually see that print head. We now take our treated facial wipe or paper towel or rag and we're going to put it up against the print head and we never wipe the print head. We're going to just put some upward pressure and we're going to gently wiggle our fingers forward and backward a little bit. We want that to remain in contact with the print head for about five to ten minutes 
And then I'm going to take a second one and I'm going to repeat this process two to three times if I have bad clogs in my print head. After that five to ten minutes of each one, we're simply going to remove the wipe and we're going to discard that. Then we're going to bring the print head back over the capping station. After docking the print head, we need to perform a regular head cleaning. So we're going to press and hold the menu button for three seconds. And the machine will start into its regular cleaning cycle. The reason we have to do this is as we put that solution up against the print head, that hopefully softened it up so that when the print head actually fires ink through it, it can actually fire out all of those things that are clogging that print head. So that didn't actually do the cleaning itself, it just softened up the, usually the dried ink that's causing the clogging issue so that during this normal cleaning procedure, it can fire those clogs out. After completing this cleaning cycle, we're going to let the machine sit for five to ten minutes. Then we'll perform another nozzle check to make sure that we've accomplished exactly what we set out to, which is to get a perfect nozzle check. If after performing several normal head cleanings, followed up by nozzle checks, the nozzle checks are not improving, and then after the second method of actually putting some kind of a treated facial wipe or cloth up against the bottom of the print head and then performing several nozzle checks were not improving. The third method of cleaning the head would be to do a power cleaning. The reason we reserve a power cleaning as a last resort is because it uses a lot of ink during this process and unfortunately, all of that ink is pure waste. To get into a power cleaning, we hit the menu button. Then we press the forward button until we get to maintenance. We press the menu button again. Then we press the forward button until we find power cleaning. Upon finding power cleaning, we press menu and then it will ask us if we wish to perform a power cleaning. If I wish to not perform the power cleaning, I can hit select to escape out. If I want to perform the power cleaning, which in this case we do, we're going to press menu for yes. During this process, we're going to have to raise and lower the levers on the back of the machine. So we're going to wait till we are instructed to do so by watching the control panel. When the control panel tells us to lower the levers, then we'll simply follow these instructions until the entire power cleaning has been completed. It's going to ask us to lower and raise these levers two or three times during this process. Upon completing the three methods of cleaning, we always want to follow up each one of those techniques with a nozzle check. I'm going to get this height a little bit closer. I'm now I'm going to take my transparency. Don't forget we have the previous test on here, the one that was no good, the reason why we were doing these cleanings in the first place.
and on completion of printing the nozzle check, we're going to withdraw our platen and we're going to check to see that we have a good nozzle check. 